Back in time, and you youngsters may have to look this up, I used to do content creation, but to see it, you had to buy a magazine or buy a book um, or subscribe to a newsletter. Today, uh, you can put all this on the internet, and I thought, I, why don't I start this back up again? Love to do these things. Shouldn't be too hard, right? Let's look at why you get this started. Should be pretty simple, right? Get a camera, throw some content up there. People will love the video. So let's look at everything my research said I'm going to need to be successful. Nothing straight, nice and simple, huh? So, Amazon got all my money, right? Understandable, let's have a look at what that money all bought. And um, we'll go through later on exactly what I spent. Um, let's start with the camera. And camera's a great place to start. I decided on the Insta360 RS1. Uh, great camera, lots of people recommending it, seeing lots of bloggers using this today. Um, you know, I looked at the GoPros, but I had some pretty poor experiences with GoPros uh, in the early versions, threes and fours. And so I was looking for something different. And uh, coming from professional photography, um, the form factor on this really is appealing. The idea of something so small uh, and the ability to be able to do uh, two lenses, both a 360 lens, which is going to be great for being on the bikes, um, as well as the straight lens, are really appealing. Um, I'm really feeling the form factor. And you can see here, because I'm going to be on the motorcycle, um, I went ahead, got this piece right here, um, where you're looking at. Uh, motorcycle connectors, um, everything that goes along with that, so make sure I can get on the cat on the bike. Uh, a selfie stick, uh, this came with the pack, the package I bought, I bought a motorcycle bundle from Insta360. And then I bought some other things that really came along with this. So when you look at this here, uh, extra batteries, um, I'm gonna need more than one of these, but start with one. Uh, a charger, uh, extra memory card, um, and then um, a nice little Insta um, underwater camera stuff. Haven't got the casing yet, that's meant to arrive in the next day or so, uh, but I do have some new handles for it. So this is going to be the ability um, with this also a car connector to go uh, both here in the studio, outside, um, on the bikes, in my car and underwater, which is all the sort of vlogging that I really want to do. If this works really well, um, then what I'll do is I'll probably buy a second camera, uh, some extra batteries, um, another charger, probably some more connectors, um, and that will set me up for probably the foreseeable future. So, that said, let's put all this together and let's see what it looks like. Some time later. Oh, hello. Remember, I said I was going to try out my Insta360 camera, uh, my RS1. Yeah, and then I was going to come back and tell you what I learned and all that. Well, that took a bit of a uh, turn. I turned it on, I liked it, and. Uh, yeah, I unpacked everything else and took it out for a run. Have a look at this. Yeah, we're gonna have a whole lot of fun with this camera as we take this and learn more. The footage underwater is amazing. I love the look of the stuff on that motorbike, uh, especially as you put it on that chin mount. We'll talk about those later. But firstly, I wanna get some other things out of the way. Um, firstly, the first thing I bought was this light. So this is a Pixel G1 uh, video light, um, less than 70 bucks. Um, really, really like the look of it. Um, lots of great reviews. You can see here, pretty straightforward. Um, the light is really bright. So I'm going to turn it on, you're going to see the flash, right? And I'm going to turn it off again. Woo! Yeah, liking that, huh? So the great thing about this is not only does it have white light, but it also allows you to do various colors. So you can change the hue, I can change the strength. So I've got white light from very cool to very warm. I've got colors all the way from red all the way through my yellows, greens, and blues. Um, and it even has special effects. I mean, I don't know what I'll use the special effects for. I'll probably never use them. Uh, okay, I lied. I'm certainly going to use them. Uh, the great thing about this connects out to here. You can see this little, uh, little arm here. This allows you to connect it to whatever tripod you have. 
I'm going to set this up and start using it um, for my lighting of the studio as well as for anything else that I'm doing. Great little unit, great price. Um, add it to a couple of other lights that I have hanging around. I think I'm going to get a pretty good lighting setup, uh, especially for a studio. I got a bunch of other lights coming through as well. I think this is one I'm actually starting to use this first light to see how it works. I'll, I'll work out the lighting later on. Let's talk about microphones because I've got three microphone solutions I'm going to be working with here. Um, I have a Yeti microphone that I use for my other job. Um, it was fantastic. It does a great job of working in the studio. It picks up really well. So when I do some close work, I'm going to be using that. But I also have two other solutions. Uh, first one, uh, this Moment C1 wireless microphone. I'm going to actually go to that after this call. Um, and I'm going to look at this and see what's in it. So the great thing about this is it's wireless. So I'm connecting this up to my Insta360. Um, pretty straightforward. You have three units which is great. I have this receiver unit. This goes on the camera. Um, so this will plug into the external mic piece on the uh, Insta360. This is what receives. We also have these two units here as well. These are the um, transmitters. So I can clip these onto myself, talk directly into them. I also have lab mics, uh, which you can plug into them, which are also included in the set. So this is a fantastic piece of uh, kit for less than $75, $80. Um, if they don't work, and they claim to have a range of about 150 feet, I'm, I'm kind of skeptical, but I have tried them out to about 40. They seem to work pretty well. Um, if these don't work the way I like, I'll go out and buy some nice road ones. But as a first experiment, see how they work. These look like they're going to be pretty good for me in terms of wireless transmitters. On my motorbike, um, I've gone for Purple Panda. Um, reviews have been mixed online. Um, I didn't see the mixed reviews until after I ordered it, so I'm going to see how they work. Uh, but the idea here is the same thing, right? I'll plug it directly uh, into uh, the mic extension on the Insta360, uh, hook it up through um, a couple of command strips probably, tuck the wires away, and then get the microphone as close to my mouth as I possibly can. So if I'm on the bike and I want to discuss things, um, I can use the Purple Panda. Uh, pretty straightforward. I mean, it's a straight lav mic. Um, nice um, uh, wind diffuser. We'll see how it works. Um, there's other options out there if I don't like it, but this is the one that I really want to. And I will say after I bought it, the manufacturer has been really good at communicating with me, um, sending me lots of emails, sending me an ebook on best ways to use microphones um, and some other things. So that's a very positive sign that the manufacturer is looking after um, the unit and looking after their customers. All right, got the microphone on. Let's see if the quality improves over the camera one. I can't possibly imagine it hasn't. I'm hoping you're hearing something really cool right now. Um, some other things that we're gonna do. Um, I did set up the motorcycle stuff. As you know, I bought the motorcycle bundle with the Insta360. They include several attachments, uh, which I'm gonna experiment with all of them on the motorcycles. Um, and also I bought a chin mount from chinmount.com that'll go specifically on my helmet. You've seen a footage of that too when I'm on my sports bike. Um, we'll do a whole video on that, looking at how that all works and how um, it's going to work when I'm out there blogging. I'm going to use that purple panda microphone on that as well, so that'll be interesting. Obviously, I've seen some underwater footage. I bought the Instagram dive uh, enclosure for the Insta360, taking it down already about 70, 80 feet on its first dives. The footage looks pretty good for someone who hasn't really tried it a whole lot in the past. Really looking forward to getting a lot of video. I'll take you through the whole underwater video camera setup as well. Last thing I bought um, of importance, um, behind me, as you've seen, and we switched scenes here, I've got a green screen. Um, I'm playing with that green screen all the time. As you can see, lots of different things as I'm flicking them up there. Um, having some good time with the green screen. Um, I will say that I bought a projector version one. So in other words, it goes up and down just like a, a projector would. <clears throat> so it goes into a case. So this means it's not fabric. I've worked with fabric over the years. Fabric's terrible. Um, it's not that you can't use it, it's getting all those wrinkles and lighting out of it um, and trying to wash it and keep it clean. Um, this is such a nicer solution. Pull it up, um, kind of a fabric here, but it's, uh, it's like a projector screen model. It pulls right back up, it's dead flat, easy to light, and then you can just flick it down when you're finished. I actually bought this renewed for about $120. Um, and as you can see, I'm over six foot tall. And my head is below the top of this, which is excellent because that's why I need to be able to do green screen shots. Last thing, um, I'm going to be using Premiere Pro. 
uh, to do all my editing. Um, if I was starting out, I'd probably choose something cheaper. Uh, there's definitely lots of great options out there. However, I've been a professional photographer before um, and done some mild video editing. Um, I would consider myself one of the you know, mid to top level expert in using Adobe Photoshop. Um, the interfaces are very much the same in Premiere Pro, already own the product. <laughs> um, so there's no reason for me not to use that. Um, if it works out, great. If it doesn't, I'll switch to one of the cheaper options that people are using for vlogging. This is a perfectly good version of it and having it already is important. Other things, um, I had some other things that I think um, other people wouldn't have, such as tripods, um, some lenses, um, some filters, some other things that I'll be using throughout my uh, experience. Um, that's been great. So in the end, what did this all cost? <laughs> well, let's pull that up. I think I probably went mid-range um, when it comes down to it. I spent a fair amount of money on some important things. Um, obviously, the camera is important. Um, obviously, my green screen is important. I did buy an additional PC. Um, that's not really included in this cost because the reality was that um, that thing's been going for years. Like, <laughs> I looked up the graphics card. Um, it was from uh, 2007, 2008. Uh, when it was originally launched. So I probably bought that PC back in 2011 and I've been nursing it through doing video and photography, uh, editing. I bought the new one and <laughs> lights and lights out like so much better. Perfect example. And in fact, I had to update it. Um, Adobe actually had a message that said it no longer supported my video card. Uh, so it was time for a new PC. Otherwise, um, what, am I, what am I missing? I think, I think I think after looking at everything I have, I probably bought too many tripods. Um, the microphones are really cool. Um, I think I'm going to buy another camera. Um, maybe not just yet, but I'm finding already um, having uh, taken the, uh, the camera out on the bike, uh, taking the camera, uh, scuba diving for underwater, and now using it inside uh, for studio, uh, that that's actually pretty annoying um, to have to set it up each time for each one of those things. Um, I think I'm going to buy a second camera. Um, that way I can have it set on something that I'm using quite regularly um, and then have another camera uh, to be able to take around and do some handheld shots and other things that I may want to do in a particular shoot. Um, it may end up being more than one extra camera, but not right now. I've already spent enough cash. Um, that's going to have to happen. Otherwise, I'm excited to use all this stuff. Um, I'm going to go out there and uh, see what my next adventure is. In fact, I think I'm going to go for a motorcycle ride right now. I'll catch you later. If you like this, subscribe, like, share with your friends. Otherwise, see you next time. Thank you.